On the super duper hit series, The Blacklist, it looks like Red has made a love connection. Hmm. We met in the park. Anne was watching Burns, I was watching Anne. We bonded over a Cape May warbler. Then he asked me to go see North by Northwest and promptly stood me up, but he's more than made up for that since. We've been having an ongoing classic film festival. We started with movies with musical numbers. He's usually asleep long before the end credits. <laughs> Tonight. Okay, tonight. so please welcome New York's very own Emmy and Tony Award winner, Miss LaShawn. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Happy Friday. And it's even a happier Friday for the Blacklist fans and clearly for Red because yes, he has well, found Anne. Talk to us <laughs> about this love connection, or is it? Or are you guys about to trick us or something? Oh, we definitely have a connection. Okay. Um, I'll let the viewers decide if it's a love connection or not, but it's definitely some chemistry working on this on that screen between he and I. Oh, no, there is the chemistry, but you know with the blacklist, <laughs> you just never know who's who. So P a lot of people are going to have the side eye on your character, like, hmm, what is up with that? And we know, But we love that you're getting Red to smile again because we know there's a whole lot of conflict going on with him and Liz, and you're here like a, like, as a ray of light for many of us. You know, there is a bit of a breath of fresh air, I'm told, with with Anne coming on to the show. Um, but it definitely, as you know, with the blacklist, the plot definitely gets a little thick there. And so I hope it's enjoyable for tonight. But um, yeah, it definitely has a plot twist. Oh, I'm not the spokesperson for the blacklist fans, but I tell you, it is always enjoyable for them. Because I, I was telling you earlier how, like, everyone has theories about everything and <laughs> they cannot get enough. But in my head, I'm thinking, right, because some of the black, I'm sure this is opening up opening you up to like a lot of fans that you didn't have before and then opening the fans up to Broadway because I'm sure they're like and if they've never heard of you because we we know you from Broadway you act dance you know sing do it all <laughs> yes. but yeah are, are you meeting these fans that are saying oh my gosh such a pleasure to find out that you're doing this and looking you up the blacklist has amazing fans first of all yet yeah, I'll answer your question yes I'm meeting fans from all over the world they're dropping messages in my DM some of them are praying that I am I am a long a lifelong girlfriend for for Reddington but then others are like I think she's a spy I know I don't trust her I don't know what's going on with her and it just is cracking me up it's so entertaining because they're so invested, and I think that's wonderful for the show. It's oh, a great show. Oh, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, because that's why I'm, I'm seeing their comments, and I was like, oh, they're a no-joke. That's why I was like, is it for real? Because some of them are like, she's probably a spy. And some of them are like, <laughs> oh, we love that he gets to get a break, you know, and all of that. And uh, I mentioned Broadway earlier, and speaking of Broadway, like, we, I'm not even a singer, like I told you earlier, not even <laughs> close. So I can't even, I'm, and I'm sure that you're waiting and dying to get out there and perform, and it's not just you, but your daughter's also uh, a singer as well because she was just in Jagged Little Pill. So it's like yes. a family affair. Oh yeah, well, she followed in my footsteps. She's, uh, she was Tony nominated for her role in Jagged Little Pill okay. on Broadway. Yeah, but now she's up in Toronto working on Star Trek. Oh, oh, wow, Ta she's, talent uh, does, you know how some people right say it's talent genetic? Here's your proof. Yes, it is. <laughs> and I was trying to do this to get some of your talent. It has not worked yeah. yet. But I, but doesn't mean that without talent, I don't wish that Broadway can reopen back up again. So do you have any plans to come back to the Great White Way? Because we loved you in Donna Summer, the musical. You got uh, your Tony for you. the color purple. And thank we you. can't wait to get more of LaShawn's. Well, you know, we're praying and hoping that everyone gets their vaccine and that we can get everyone back into these theaters sooner than later. We're working on we're doing everything we can on our part to make sure that it happens because I miss the stage. I know so many of us that work on, on stage miss it so much. But I'm also grateful for the time to be able to work on some TV. And that's one great thing that NBC and so many other shows are doing is they're pulling all this talent mm -hmm. that hasn't been able to be on stage for the past year into television. And it's really kind of cool. So oh. I've done TV before, but I'm really enjoying working on The Blacklist. Oh, yeah. We enjoy having you on The Blacklist. And let me, let's just talk about Black Theaters Unite. Because I, know United, you're one of, yes. yeah, because I know you're, you're one of the co-founding members. So how has the pandemic affected, like, the, the foundation? And how do you, do you hope to get back to, you know, inspiring young people who don't have the access to the arts and to theater? 
We came together, we founded in June of last year mm -hmm. uh, during the pandemic. We've only had Zoom meetings, but um, we came together in the horrific death of George Floyd because we felt that we wanted to be a part of the movement of what's happening in the, in the world right now with this awareness of systemic racism in so many different industries. And we wanted to tackle it within our industry too. And we've been fortunate. We've got a lot of support, a lot of great allies, a lot of Broadway producers have come on board to help us, theater owners, unions. We've been really working with each department of our industry to help make it better going forward. Oh my gosh, this is, it's just so amazing. Everything you do, you like, you put, you just make, take it to a whole other level. And by the way, I don't know if you were watching the show and you saw Buddy Mercury performing. I just saw your cat pop up on your window still. Does your oh cat perform God. too? Since everyone <laughs> around you has talent. <laughs> My cat, Sushi, she's dying to let me outside, but I'm so afraid because there are hawks and everything back there, but she's dying. I let her I let her live in the window a lot. So. Your cat's name is Sushi? Oh my Sushi, I have two, Sushi and Miso. Come on! <laughs> you... Miso's hiding, though. Oh, uh, Miso's Be Betty hiding. eats sushi at baseball games, so maybe she wants to say hi to Sushi. <laughs> Betty's a sushi lover, so maybe she loves sushi on, like, all ends. LaShawns, it is such a pleasure to meet you. Hope to see you again very, very uh -oh. soon, but we're going to start you. tonight on the blacklist when the episode airs on yep. NBC. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure. Thanks for having me. You're a real have a light. <laughs> talent, have a come day. to me. You're welcome. I'm all in for sushi. The talent, the everything. Can you tell like, she's, such, I mean, she's like mm -hmm. so graceful. Effervescent. And yeah. You see yeah. that? Mm -hmm. You know, that's why she goes by just one name. LaShawn, yep. right? Exactly, but that's right? The thing. But do you notice the difference between her? She's like, yes, Broadway. <laughs> I'm like, Broadway. <laughs> like, yes, OG. I'm like, what, what? <laughs> like, well, OG, <laughs> difference is clear. I can't even, you know. But maybe she'll rub off on me. All right. Oh, no, you are very special in your mm -hmm. own right, OG. Nobody, stop. And